Hey guys, it's Shannon from That DIY Couple, and this is just a quick little video for anybody who has fallen off the diet bandwagon and is finding themselves in a place where they really need to get back on and start back up doing what they know they have to do for their health and wellness. So, as a lot of you guys know, I have lost 100 pounds and I've been on a weight loss journey for the last couple of years by changing my diet and changing my life. And I know a thing or two about falling off the bandwagon, you guys. Um, there have been many, many, many times when I have had a really hard day, I've had a really stressful or acute situation, and I have run to the food. Um, that used to make me feel happy, it used to make me feel satiated. I'm a stress eater, so I've been there. Um, and for me, like, I have a very addictive relationship with food, so like, one is never really enough for me. So like, if I have a piece of pizza, pizza, I'm gonna have three. Like, I just can't, I don't have a ton of control. If I eat a chip, I'll have the whole thing of chips. There are lots of other people in the world who have different relationship with food and who um, can exercise a little bit of moderation, like they'll have like a single piece of chocolate every night. I find those people really hard to relate to because I just don't have that. For me, um, food is kind of like an all or nothing thing. So I know what it's like, you guys, to fall off the bandwagon. I know how hard it can be because you you immediately feel better. Like, you know, you, you would, there's a reason that you go back to the food again and again. It's because it, it makes you feel immediately better. But then ultimately you feel gross, you feel heavy, you, feel, you start gaining weight again and you get off the bandwagon and it's really hard to get back on. So this is a video for you. <sighs> okay, it's time for a reset, okay? So you need to start thinking again about your ideal self and the way that you want to be in the world and the health and you need to reframe your goals. So. I'm a big believer in like the law of attraction and what we manifest happening in the world. So what I want you to do is I want you to imagine yourself at your ideal weight, your ideal health 10 years from now. Let's do it. Let's imagine that you've been at your ideal health for nine years, 10 years from now. So over the course of the next year, you lose what you need to lose. And what kind of person have you become in 10 years? What are the habits and what are the routines what are your rituals and what do you look like you know imagine your hair and your nails and your eyes and your body and your breasts and your pecs and your thighs your butt and your legs imagine your body and your mind what are you what are you thinking about what are you dreaming about and just sit there with your future self for a little while and i want you to tell yourself something from your future self yourself right now and that is, it's going to be okay. You just need to stay on the path that you know in your heart is right for you because it's gonna lead you somewhere really marvelous. It's gonna lead you somewhere really great. So it's time to crawl up back onto the vet bandwagon. And you gotta pick yourself up off the floor. You gotta sit up. You gotta think clearly, shake yourself off, and say, you know what, I'm gonna hop back up there. Because once you're on, you climb up that bandwagon and you're sitting there in the bandwagon and it's you have like all of the habits and routines and systems and you're eating right, which fuels more eating right, the wagon moves itself, right? It's gonna take you to the destination that you need to go. So you just need to get back up and back on. And now is the time, guys. So what is your action plan? For me, I always come back to food prep. So if you fail to plan, you will fail. You need to go to the store right now and buy yourself some healthy food. And then you need to go home and you need to prepare it for yourself. I'm a huge fan of the mason jar salad routine, but I don't want to leave anything up to chance during the week. I don't want to be opening myself up to bad decision making when I'm feeling stressed at work. So I bring my lunch with me and that's a huge, huge thing for me. So we need to put in place your action plan to keep yourself on the bandwagon. And now I also want you to do a little bit of a retrospective and think to yourself, 
What happened this time that I fell off? What was it? Was it stress? Was it a failure to plan? Did something, something happen in my life that was beyond my control? And I want you to put into place a emergency plan for the future. So let's say today or tomorrow, you go to the store and you prep all your food and you're ready for the week. Today, while you're feeling motivated and you're ready to go, I want you to think about what you're gonna do next time you feel the temptation to step off your plan. So this is like, you know, when you go to your fam the theme park with your family and you say, if anybody gets lost, this is where we're gonna meet. Or like when your building says, in event of fire, this is what you're gonna do. That's what I want you to do for yourself with food. So for me, what I have committed to is that when I am feeling like acutely overwhelmed with the desire to eat something, and that usually happens to me and results to like a really sudden and unexpected stressor that's like really upsetting, um, I will call John. So I will call him and he will sort of talk me down <laughs> from making a bad decision. While I'm calling him, I will go for a walk because sometimes just busting out of your office or your house or wherever you're at, getting into a new place <clears throat> is going to help you like clear your mind. So moving your body in response to stress is so much more helpful and beneficial than eating something. So those are my two things. I will call John and I will go for a walk. <laughs> those are the two things I can commit to doing every time I feel stress. I want you to think about yours. Maybe it's, I will take a bath. Maybe it's, I'll call my best friend. I'll call my mom. Maybe it's, I will pray. I will get down on my knees and I will pray and I will say, please, you know, help me get through this. Whatever it is, whatever you think is gonna work for you, I want you to commit to doing it right now. And I also wanna just tell you that it's okay. We all take two steps forward, one steps back. But the important thing is that you just keep on keep it on. You can do this. Get your back with it now. Let's do this thing. It's going to be beautiful and spectacular. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Until next time, do well and always make things better. Oh.